no sabemos cuántas mujeres mueren de violencia uh, en Europa. Sabemos en cada país eh, cuántas mujeres mueren. Este no es un problema nacional, este es un problema europeo. Right now, the kind of data there is is not really enough, uh, precisely because of um, the difficulty of actually knowing what goes on, and also the difficulty of separating the different kinds of um, violence. We are looking at uh, data collection on gender-based violence in the 28 member states. There is a great need for accurate, reliable data that will be harmonised across the 28 member states. At the moment it's not available and AIGA is planning to work with the member states very closely to support them in collecting this data. This is something which um, the member states uh, all talk about. They, they emphasise the need for data. They emphasise the importance of evidence in order to make a change and to introduce changes to policy. Uh, among the issues that uh, we've been covering, there has been also the issue of gender violence, in which we are, uh, as presidency, uh, been trying to do a lot in terms of also of, um, of uh, practical cooperation. At the moment we have the situation that we don't really know so much about what we are doing because we don't have the data. We need the numbers, but it's not a goal in itself to have the numbers. Our goal is then to do something with the numbers and to see where do we have strengths, where do we have weaknesses. Es necesario e imprescindible que a nivel europeo se cree un observatorio de violencia de género y doméstica porque cuando se tienen todas las estadísticas y todos los datos se diagnostica el problema y se sabe qué medios hay que poner para evitar y erradicar la violencia de género. I think it's incredibly important uh, for us at NGO level in our own country. It's brilliant to have the international mechanisms because they compel our national government to collect information on sexual and domestic violence, on all gender-based violence.